We'll begin with uh, Mr. Dabrowski from the uh, Illinois Policy Institute. Thank you for being here, sir. Please begin, and then we'll move down the line. Thank you all for allowing the Illinois Policy Institute to comment on a critical issue, which is, of course, our pension crisis. Illinois has the worst pension crisis in the nation. We are an outlier, by far. Soon we may have the first junk bond rating of any state in the country. Pensions are a driver of that. For that reason, Illinois needs the boldest reforms in the nation, the boldest reforms. Sadly, the two bills in question, the consideration bill and the hybrid bill, will only perpetuate the pension crisis and make things worse. For that reason, the Illinois Policy Institute opposes the two bills. Illinois has officially $130 billion in unfunded liabilities. Moody's, the rating agency, puts that number at $250 billion. Even worse, Professor Rao at the University of Stanford puts it at $355 billion when you include the healthcare liabilities, OPEB. Those pensions are hurting the economy. They push property taxes to the highest level in the nation, and people are leaving our great state in record numbers. For too long, the government has prioritized pensions over everything else. Social services and MAP grants are being cut to make way for pension costs. Workers are watching pensions go bankrupt, even as billions more are put, are put in. Kankakee's fire fund is just 19% funded. Danville's fire fund, just 22% funded. Granite City, 29% funded. These pensions are bankrupt and workers are ripe to fear for their retirement security. Now, taxpayers have also been taking a hit. Taxpayers have put in $20 billion more than the Edgar Ramp originally called for. And yet, despite those billions more, pensions are going bankrupt. Everybody's losing in Illinois, and it's time to modernize. The Cullerton Bill will likely be found unconstitutional. It offers workers two options that give them less benefits than they have today. If we follow the Supreme Court's recent decisions, they'll find this unconstitutional. We have to remember that Quinn's pension bill took years to pass, and here we are years later still debating pensions. We cannot waste time. The problem with a hybrid bill is that it perpetuates pensions. Pensions got us into this mess, and yet the government wants to continue to have workers dependent on pensions and trapped in a system that is going bankrupt. That is not fair to workers who are dependent on IOUs. Any tier three must give workers more control over their retirements. And worse, the hybrid bill perpetuates tier two. Tier two is immoral. It requires tier two workers to lose money in their retirements in order to bail out tier one workers. That is wrong. Today, a teacher in TRS will put in 9% for their pension and get back just 7% in benefits. That's morally wrong. Not only that, tier two is a ticking time bomb. If it is not addressed, it may be found unconstitutional and billions more will be added to the unfunded liability of Illinois. Dick Ingram from TRS has strongly warned about that. Fortunately, right here in this room, there's a plan right under legislators' nose. And that plan is the SURS plan, the, state, the uh, university system, 401k style plan. That plan has been around for 20 years. 15 to 20 percent of workers are opting into that 401k style plan every year. They put aside 15 percent of their retirement in the plan that they control and that they own. Those plans are portable. They're not based on IOUs from the government. And interestingly enough, the SURS workers who are in that plan don't worry about bankruptcy. They control their own retirements. The plan is constitutional. It's fair, it's proven, and it's been successful. I strongly recommend that the legislature look at the SURS plan and just roll it out for new workers and give every existing worker an option to opt into that plan. It's been around for a long time. It's proven. You don't have to reinvent a pension plan. Just roll that one out. Uh, that pension plan should also be paired with other good ideas like pension buyouts and the pension cost shifts that have been discussed. The bottom line is Illinoisans, government workers, residents who are dependent on social services and taxpayers, they need a new plan that brings back fairness and sanity to retirement security. Illinois needs the boldest reforms, not partial reforms. 
This is why we oppose that bill but promote the SURS 401k style plan. Thank you.